welcome to the property talk for years now in uganda there's been the whole ability to actually become a homeowner through condominium housing condominium housing is not something that many ugandans were accustomed to or understood it's something that when we got these developers on board ugandans took quite some time without understanding ugandans thought you know it was a hoax ugandans thought they are getting cheated you're buying a property but you do not have a title how do i buy a property on top of somebody else my unit is you know with another person's unit how is that ownership of property but then we had the pioneers come onto the market and one of the pioneers when it came to condominium housing was universal m enterprises on site with me is someone you might know out there if you have been to their offices if you have been to their properties you might know this space but if you haven't, then I'm glad to do the honors of introducing this person to you. But today, we are actually engaging. Like I told you earlier on, that we were going to engage with all the property developers you saw at the Homes Expo and felt like you needed to actually hear from them more. You needed to understand their product more. It's a pleasure having you said. If you could kindly introduce yourself to my audience. Thank you. Natumara Maria is my name, the sales manager, Universal Affordable Housing. Thank you so much, darling. So now, let's get into it. Affordable housing has been in Uganda for quite some time, but yes. affordable is relative, I might say. Yes. How many years has Universal been on the market? We've been on the market for 10 years. 10 years? Yes. How many units has Universal in the last 10 years been able to give to the Ugandan homeowner Universal. and bridging the deficit gap? Universal has affordable housing. We've done close to 2,000 homes, and that is close to 40 projects around Uganda. 40 projects? Yes. Wow. And uh, In which locations? Out of the 40, we have uh, Kololo, mm -hmm. Muyenga, mm -hmm. Nalia, Nigeria, and Shiroka Namgongo Road. Basically, you have scoped through almost, you're in the east. Yeah. yeah. You have come through almost at least every location you have been able to get there. Yes. yes. That's yes. lovely. Yes. So, uh, you know you have a payment plan whereby it's two years yes. for your payment policy. How has that been able to help the Ugandan? Because see, today what I want us to look at is, yes, Universal, you have these beautiful properties you have in every location. You, mm -hmm. You've done the, the 2,000 units. But what I want to know mm -hmm. is how is this benefiting the Ugandan? How are you making sure that, okay, for every Ugandan, you can become a homeowner? How are we helping? You were just not giving you these units. You are just not giving you these properties. But we are going an extra step to say, okay, this is what we are going to do for you. We are going to make life a little easier for you step by step. Before COVID came out, we had a, a different payment plan, which mm -hmm. was one year. So after COVID, we realized that most people lost their jobs and most people are paid tentatively. They are in the medium income earners. Mm -hmm. So we decided to put up the two years payment plan, whereby you book with five million mm -hmm. and then uh, you get the two years. Mm -hmm. That is monthly. And that monthly is not fixed, whereby you can put whatever you have. Mm -hmm. So if uh, we go to a person who is earning, Two million. At mm. least you can sacrifice the one million every month towards clearing your house. Your house. So when you say two year in payment plan, mm. so and let's say I have bought my property at one hundred and ninety million Uganda shillings. Yes. But then the prices fluctuate. Prices change. Yes. And in those two years, do I still stay at one hundred and ninety million if that was my starting price? As Universal, we are happy for our wives. If you've booked at 199 millions, it will be 199 millions until you finish. Okay. We don't change the price. What What is the market view of your property? What do your clients tell you when it comes to market view of your pricing versus your property? Okay, of course, clients are happy because regardless of the prices, are uh, medium and uh, the prices, uh, the locations we are giving them are really prime. Look at Muyenga. People would love to stay in Muyenga or Kololo. When you look at our prices, vis-a-vis -vis the prices of uh, around our neighborhood, you'll, you'll see that our prices are really affordable. 440 millions with everything, with a two-bedroom, a two-bathroom, and you're owning a two-bedroom in Kololo and in a prime location. So clients have come up. That's why we have so many people coming on board because of the medium prices regarding um, the prime location that we're giving and the amenities that we give. When you speak of location, yes. I want to actually ask mm. what is also the feedback from your clients when it comes to the locations that Universal is choosing to set up projects in. The clients are embracing the locations that we give because they are really accessible. Come to a client who does not have a car, whereby you come from, your, from a taxi and you're in your house, like that, those ones in Nalia. You don't have to 
getting a border from a taxi you're in your house you don't have a car so you don't have that inconvenience at, when you're coming at night people are happy our clients are happy and they're embracing that they're even advising us more to get more prime locations like we've been providing before and then how have these projects that you have set up in these locations have they actually develop them or have they helped the people in those environments or in those locations or in neighborhoods? First of all, I would say Universal, we've changed the skyline of these uh, neighborhoods like How? Nalia. When you look at uh, the skylines of Nalia, you can see that Universal's apartments are looking gorgeous around the neighborhoods. Secondly is uh, Nalia and uh, Nigeria are, were slow in growth. So when we came up as Universal, when we came up with the developments, you are seeing that people are copying us. Other people are copying up and more structures are coming in. Private apartments, more houses, more shops, more shopping malls. So many people are coming in and we are increasing on the number of people which are relocating to these areas. Because How are you benefiting the people in the neighborhood? How are you benefiting the people? Like in Nigeria, we've done the shopping malls. These people can come and get, um, they get uh, businesses. And also the security people, we are helping people to, to give them security because our apartments have security so the neighbors can tap the security that we have. And also we benefit in the people renting. So many people are coming up with Airbnbs. So we've helped people to come up with this business. It has not been there before, but when you look at people who are looking at going to hotels and they're inconveniencing them. But when you see right now, as universal apartments, we have like 50% people are embracing the Airbnb. So in conclusion, yes. as we wind up this interview, yes. I would like to ask, what is it that Universal M Enterprises is willing in the nearby future to do to bridge the housing gap? And also, what are they willing to do to add to Uganda's economy at large when it comes to real estate? As Universal, we are planning on to extend to other areas. We've been majorly in Kampala. I'm seeing ourselves to go in Barara in Arua, to extend ourselves more in more areas that people are needing help in housing. And also, we are going to, to develop more houses because as the day goes on, the population increases. So we are eagerly aware that we are going to do more, more and more houses, condominium houses. And also to add on the economy, we are selling to people who are doing business, meaning if people are renting, the landlords are getting money. And this money is also helping the economy to grow, like the Airbnbs and then the, no, no, the normal rental. Thank you so much, my dear. It was a pleasure having you inside. But before we conclude, where yes. are you located? And if anyone out there is watching, I'd like to know more about Universal. Where can they find you? First of all, Universal Affordable Housing, we have a website, which is www.affordablehousing.ug. We have a Facebook page, Affordable Housing Uganda. And find us in Tinder 36B, Catalima Crescent. That's where our offices are. Thank, Thank you. you so much. It was a pleasure having you. You're welcome. Search.